uh, home of ours called Earth. And part and parcel of what we're all about is the, the business of recreating and staying healthy. And you do that in many ways, but certainly you can do it by playing tennis. And Yuri is proud to have its own tennis club. Tommy McKeown, the president, is with me. Tommy, you're most welcome. Thank you very much indeed. Ramon. And Kieran Campbell, who's the treasurer, with me indeed. Thank you. Now, every every so often, you guys crank up the the, the ante a bit, and you get more people in. And this is one of those times because I saw your lovely uh, poster across the front of the tennis court, letting people know there's a welcome at the tennis at the tennis club. Tommy, that's always been the case. Oh, certainly now. It's always been a very welcoming place. I'm there now 40 years. I've seen many people come and go. And uh, I know nobody who came into the tennis club that didn't say they weren't welcome. And yeah. today, we're making a special effort this year to welcome new members. And we'll be very keen, indeed, to see new members, both young and old. It's not an expensive sport. No. Um, at all. There's plenty of facilities. There's opportunity for coaching, for making friends, yeah. for playing social tennis. Uh, competitive tennis and uh, it's a wonderful facility and I'd like to see you know, anybody at all coming coming in to have it a go. Kieran, your, your membership at the moment is strong, yeah? It's very strong despite a lot of clubs, all sports clubs are finding it difficult now with the recession. Our, yeah. our membership is still very strong and um, but as, as Tommy says, um, it's very frustrating. People don't seem to realise that anyone can come down and play and join. Uh -huh. like, even my own story, 12 years ago in Donegal I met tennis players from Newry and they said, why don't you come down to the club? I said, sure, I'm not a tennis player. Uh -huh. Come down. We've never looked back. Well, my children at that stage were just starting the secondary school. We all joined as a family, £120 a week. Yeah, a it's year. A year. <laughs> a year. <laughs> no, no. You've been doing very well. <laughs> and it's still a hundred. It's still a hundred and twenty. Uh, yeah. uh, it's still a hundred and twenty. All these years later. It's two pounds. It's yeah. two pounds a week for a family. For a family. And uh, so we really, we've got family membership. We've got individual membership. We have uh, membership and facilities for older folk and folk who are younger. You have the minor end of it as well. Minor end's twenty five pounds, fifty p a week. Yeah. Um, I say we joined. We never looked back. And. Um, we play every week throughout the winter and really? Tommy, we first joined, uh, Tommy took our family on board and started coaching my wife, coached the children, all free and um, there's people down there quite willing to do that. It's, it's standard when you join the club that you get three free lessons, Yes. whether you're a senior or a junior. Yes. On Thursday night, Tommy runs a, a social for all beginners. Yeah. They come down and play with people who are beginning the game or and more experienced players come down and help. So in a very short period of time, you're part and parcel of the club and you can progress and yeah. um, super for families because fathers can play 12-year-olds, mothers can play 10-year-olds, <coughs> yeah. um, you can play doubles, mixed doubles. It's a game, it's a family game. Yeah. And for all levels, you always find someone of your own level yeah. and uh, to play with. So it's, it's a... T t t Tommy, you, you, you become a bit of an icon down there, you, mm. by, by virtue of your, your maturity and your <laughs> wisdom That's, well, and your <laughs> friendship and all of that. You're, you're there as the, gra as the grand old owl who well. sits at the top of the tennis tree. Yeah. Do you well, feel like that? I play a wee bit at times too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, I'm still fine. No, still no, winning? Yeah, yeah, well, hardly. But uh, yes, and uh, uh, as I was saying there, for people like myself and my, my vintage, uh, it's, it's a concession there, it's only £40 a year for uh -huh. an adult. And uh, sometimes I wonder, you know yourself, Rowan, there's, there's uh, an idea out there that maybe tennis is a slightly elite game. Yes, that, I've heard that said. But it's not, it's certainly not. It is something to do with, you're, you're badly done by, by the strawberries and cream mm. of Wimbledon. <laughs> and uh, that's, but I mean, it's not like that. It's, no. You can have the strawberries and cream by all means. Yes, by all means. it's very much, it's for everybody. It's certainly for everybody. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's no question of having to wear whites. In, no. in, in days gone by, perhaps tennis courts were insisting on that sort of thing. No. And uh, the attitude there is very welcoming. Yeah, there's no problem absolutely. at all coming. It has kept you. How many years are you going down there? 40 years? I'm 40 years playing yeah. there, yes. Can you recall the tennis club as it was 40 years ago and the, tennis, and the moment you decided, Tommy McEwen, to become a tennis club member? Well, when I was a child, I'm actually from Cross Midlane, believe it or not, there was a tennis club there. Yes. Uh, way back, and I played there as a child. 
came to Newry maybe in 1970. What do you work at in Newry, Tom? I, I was a teacher in Cosmo then. A teacher? Taught, taught English. Ah. Yeah. So I moved to married a girl from Newry, um, Margie Bryson, and uh, walking down the road one Bryson. day. Bryson? Yeah. I knew I went to school with a fellow called Andrew. Bryson. Andrew, yes. Brother? And, yes. And his father, and her, your dear Bob. wife's father, was a footballer of yeah, some renown. Played for Linfield. Small, small, small world, world I indeed, tell you, yes. I tell you. But in those days, the club, was, uh, the club had actually fallen apart way back, would you believe, sometime in the early 70s. And uh, Mary Devlin, you remember Mary? Mary McGauley? Yes, yes. Mary uh, was a central figure in resurrecting the club. Uh -huh. And uh, Tom McKeown, Sean Hollywood. Yes, God rest him. Kevin, Kevin Reynolds. Kevin Reynolds, yes. I've those guys, uh, Tom Smith, he used yes. to work in the tax office. They, they sat down one day and resurrected the club in about 1975. Yeah. I joined it the year after, uh -huh. and that was the time you had the old pavilion, the green pavilion. Which was wooden, uh, the w wooden planks, and uh, not planks, but uh, uh, weatherboarding made that's up right. the exterior of yes, it. Yes, that's right. And to my best memory, it was a kind of greenish colour. It was green. Am I right? Uh, exactly. It's amazing what time, <laughs> was, what yes. the things that register with you, <laughs> yep. whatever. And yep. I, I, I'm also remembering the shower which was a huge roundy thing and you pull the thing and the water came down through this round. You've obviously played there, have you, Rowan? I don't know. I've no, <laughs> I have no recollection of actually being a member. Yeah. But these, these are memories that are coming back mm -hmm. to me. I, do you know what I think it is? I think, I think a cousin of mine who became involved and was a leader in scouting in Newry, a lad called Tave Carroll of Mary Street in Newry, yes. he played tennis. <laughs> yes. And I might have gone down to see him playing yeah. tennis with my mum and the rest That's of right. it and yeah. all of that. But even then, it was, it was family. We all felt, felt part of it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But the old, the old the, it's such a romantic thing, the old, yeah. uh, the old pavilion. That's the right. Tennis, but now you have a, a rather fancy tennis pavilion. It's still the art pavilion. Well, red brick. Yes, red brick and showers and heat, and, uh, which we share with the bowlers. And, wow. And um, it's a great facility for functions and um, the odd party we have. Yeah. And uh, no, we're well, we're well provided for at the moment. And we've uh, council again a few years back helped us out with uh, all weather courts. Yes. So we'll play 52 weeks in the year. Um, but you can see it as if one passes down the road, driving slowly past. You look in and it's always populated. People oh, are yeah, always yeah, there. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's lovely to see it. I People think it's for the town. Yeah. yeah. And it doesn't have to be sort of, wow, sort of 90 mile an hour, 100 mile an hour shots. It doesn't have to be any of that. No. no. But I'm sure you have your aspirants. Oh, well. we have. We have a number of play young players uh, who are members of the chap there. Now, he's not, he's not new. He's also a member of um, Strever at one point, Argan McMahon. Yeah. He's on the under-16 Ulster squad. For goodness sake. And a young chap, Tom Harty. Yeah. He's another up-and-coming junior, two very promising Is that Paddy's players. Uh, child? Paddy Harty, no? No, no he's a, a cousin. Or cousin, or ah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And uh, there's two young players who are extremely good. Yeah. And there's quite a few good young players coming along. There seems to be a camaraderie down there as well. Ah, there is. There's a great atmosphere, great spirit. Yeah, so, yeah. and you, a bit of crack is there too. Oh, there is, of course. Absolutely. At small levels, there's people playing during the day um, yeah. who are maybe not working, maybe retired, and they're playing maybe men's doubles, and, yeah, uh, but elderly people, then right through to our top guys who are playing in the Belfast and District League, Division Two. Uh, we play cross border north yeah. south against Dundalk. We travel down to O R D Kells, Kells, Mullingar. So, so we so and th and th we, we bring teams down there of all standards to uh, play against um, other clubs. Yeah, and it's a great social thing. After after the tennis, we normally have a cup of tea, a few yeah. scones, or and um, but we. Would well, you have that in Newry as well? Absolutely, at the pavilion. At the pavilion, Get a cup of tea, sit down yep, a bit. Yeah, we do. But you see, people. I am convinced people need that kind mm. of thing because the world is a very angular place, mm. and we're never we never have time for each mm. other. No. And it's, you know... There's a whole world going on that people are not aware of. There's yeah. a lot, an awful lot of um, middle-aged women who play uh, ladies' doubles. Wow. Um, at a time that is convenient for them. There's a whole... It's, it's very, very popular, very, very sociable. Sometimes yeah. Tommy and I think they spend more time talking than <laughs> do playing tennis, but that's... Yeah, oh, that's maybe, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that. No. But um, 
they have a they have a really great time, a bit of exercise, fresh air, a bit yeah. of crack, and yeah. they organise their own games. Um, and then I say there's the more competitive tennis. There's mixed doubles is very very popular. Um, it's, there's all levels, but I would also be trying to encourage people, guys maybe reaching the end of their f football career. Yeah. Guys who are very good at sport. Because uh -huh. if you're good at sport, in six months you'd be very good at tennis. Of course. Uh, there's a lot of guys who don't realise this, this can expand their sporting life. Uh -huh. um, Tommy, you probably started then in your football career. Yes, I played a bit of uh, football, Gaelic football for the Rangers across the then way back. Well, no. Not, well, not that good now. Well, now I played yeah, in yeah, so but uh, you, were, you were one of the giants no, uh, whose that shoulders were still on. I tell you. So there's an opportunity for people, uh, whether it's hockey, yeah. rugby, ga uh, Gaelic, down, yeah. soccer, whatever, uh, to come down and, and join the tennis. In a short period of time, you'll be playing for our teams if you want. You don't, you don't have to, but you don't have thing. to, and uh, there's always somebody who who's looking for a game who you can play. Yeah, I, I want to put in focus this morning. Uh, it's a kind of an homage to a man who played tennis into his eighties, a lovely pastor of these parts, and uh, you would have known him, Tom McConville, yeah, Father Tom McConville. Yeah. Yes, Tom was a legend. He certainly was, and I clearly remember. Not that long before he died, you know, he was still playing tennis, and that would be Rowan, I suspe suspect, well into his 80s. Yes. And he was a gentleman. Of the oh, sure. A gentleman, you. yeah. And he played the violin, and there was yep. a loveliness about him. And he was there, would you believe, uh, he was a member of the old club. Yes. You know, yes. he played in those days. He would have uh, known the pavilion. Oh, he would, of course. He yeah. would, of course. And many, many people who knew he would have known him, and members of the old club would have known Father yeah. McConville. Yeah. Um, Bello Lockton, you know, Bell. Uh, he still plays from that. She's the, probably the last from that era. Uh -huh. Still playing. Uh, still playing. And she often talked about Father Tom. Father Tom. Yeah, gentleman. Is there a, and this is one for you, Tom, uh, not for the young fella, uh, <laughs> but uh, is there a, a single great moment in the life of Newry Tennis Club that comes to mind? Um, you, you and I went the men's doubles back in, in <laughs> three years ago, no? Was oh, I wouldn't no? be blowing, I'd be blowing <laughs> my own trumpet. <laughs> uh, gosh, do I remember it? Um, well, there were a number of great moments, I suppose, and I'm trying to think you've caught me here. Um, yes, probably one of the great moments for myself was that we, uh, in, in, in the old days, if you like, when the beginning of, of, the, of, the, of the new club, um, we organised a tournament, and uh, it was sponsored in those days by Haldin and Shields, the local oh, builders yes. merchant, yeah. John Haldin, Lord of Mercy. Lord John. of Mercy on him. I worked he, with John. J yes, I knew John well. I did indeed. And uh, we had um, applied to the Ulster Council to run um, one of the bigger tournaments. There are six big tournaments yes. in Ulster, and we were granted that. And for me, I was one of the organisers of that first tournament. Mm -hmm. And seeing players from, in those days, the top Belfast and Southern clubs all assembling in Newry Tennis Club to play and having a huge number there. I knew then that Newry Tennis Club was on the map again. Was on the map, yeah, yeah, and I do remember that so well. The does, it, those it, does it puzzle you, Tom? The, the, I, I, I address the... Uh, uh, you know, I, I address the, the man of learning within you and the, the man who would study these things. Does it puzzle you where time goes? Oh, indeed. You're talking there about something that's alive and vibrant in yeah. your head. Yeah. The gathering of the players yeah. for the big tournament. Yeah. You know. All those years, where did they go? They yeah. just fly by. <laughs> and I tell you, the Do you ever get a handle on it? Do you ever? No. I, I I've constantly tried to figure it out because time... Time does go very quickly, as it you'll is. find, as mm. you begin to grow finding, older. Yeah. 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 Goes, I notice that particularly, and people come and go, and it's just extraordinary how over the years. It's just uh, telescoped, and I remember those years, in the early years, and it's hard to believe that's 40 years ago. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because I pushed them through the gates, virtually 40 years of ago. Course. Of, that time of course, of course. And mentally, in your head, you're still there. Ah, you're yeah. still at age. Yes. Oh, yes. Your, your bones are maybe not. Perhaps we delude ourselves a little, but, um, yeah, but that's it's true. Good. It's that's good. true. It's but good. it is. It keeps you young. It keeps you fit. And it gives you reason, you know, to yeah. keep fit. Yeah. And, it does. Uh, it does. Yeah. It does. And, uh, and the big part of the social part is important. Yeah. Of in the sense of you know keeping keeping something going. Yeah. For me personally, because I've been so 
closely associated with the club and probably at the moment, you know, the last of that era of who started off the, all those years ago, is still there. Yeah. Um, I feel that sense of history almost. It's, good, it's, it's good to have that sense, a continuum. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And but it actually to provide something for, for the town is just yeah. your contribution, yeah. a small one. Uh -huh. But uh, it's an extra dimension to the, to the whole culture of the town. It's another sport. It's another yeah. option for people. Take you on another type. Do you miss your teaching? Ah, no, I do. In, I, don't, I don't think I, I wouldn't be fit for it anymore. No, no. Because teaching, I, I, I did some teaching in my day. Uh, it's, it's the most exhausting work it ever I've done. challenging, yeah. Because what do you do yourself? I'm an accountant. An accountant. Yeah. Well, oh God love you. Bless you. <laughs> I yeah. couldn't do that at yeah. all. Yeah. I've pleaded fiscal... Uh, dyslexia mm -hmm. all my life to a yeah. succession of bank managers and managed to exist until my 72nd mm -hmm. year so not doing too badly on yeah. that on that front but uh, the business of, of uh, teaching I find because you're on you're acting all the time it's you're there on stage challenging very satisfying home. at times oh yeah but very difficult yeah, I remember once teaching uh, people with Asperger syndrome yes and uh, one lad over at the Southern Regional College, he, did, he was going well. Then I went away and I hadn't seen him for five years. And he shouted at me in the queue of Sainsbury's one day, I think it was, Rowan, Rowan, I must tell you, I got my degree. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's when asked, yes. Yeah. Well, that, and yeah. to, be, to also be remembered five years down the line. Yeah. It just is we. As we goodness well, that, that happens, and it's yeah. wonderful. And kids, I maybe go to football matches quite across the yeah. end, yeah. and yeah. I meet them, and they come over to me. Yeah. One problem, though, is, you see, the difficulty is they all know the teacher. Yeah, but the but teacher's very difficult. There's so many. And there's yeah. so many. But I've been, lately I've decided, look, if I don't know their name, I simply yeah. say, look, sorry, I know your face, I've forgotten your name. Yeah. Absolutely. You, know, you tell me started bluffing. No, it's no it. good bluffing. Either, but what, right. one of the, the interesting memories I have, and I said, it's in a sense related to teaching. I happened to be in uh, England three or four years ago, and uh, I was in Manchester, above all places. And you know the M6, I huge do. motorway going, going around Manchester. But uh, there was a grandchild of mine happened to be in hospital at the time, and I was staying with the parents, yes. my son and his wife. And they were staying in the hospital with the child, and they, I had their car. And um, I um, had to travel to the hospital from one side of Manchester to the other, and it was on the M6, yeah. which I found extremely difficult. Oh, I would too, I have but, to say. Um, the other grandparent was with us, so she says, don't you worry, I know the way. That's fine, says I, I hope you, I, I, that's fine. So off we went, went to the hospital, went to the hospital, that's fine. On the way back, she said, take that intersection, that's the right one. So off I went. We were no sooner off it, and she realized she made a mistake. Mm -hmm. oh. I was absolutely at my wit's end. Yeah. So, she said, what are we going to do now? And I could see the woman in the back of the car, she was totally embarrassed about this, knew she'd made a mistake, could do nothing to help. I was driving around, didn't know where I was, Got into some part of Manchester, which I thought I recognised, but my God, says I, what am I going to do next? And this is as sure as I'm sitting here, Rowan, I was driving up this little street here, and I saw these two girls walking across the road, says I, I look, I'm going to try and ask these two persons. Went down the wind and I shouted, and the first thing they said was, hello, Master McCoon, ah, <laughs> would you believe that? There were two children that I had taught at school. That's a great says, story. Am I glad to see story. you? She <laughs> says, says story. can you help me? She says, what are you looking for? I'm looking for Salford. She says, I can help you. And that's a fact. That's beautiful. And that's a memory I have that's of a great, the it's a, God is good. <laughs> God is good. God is good. Now, how do people contact you? What's the way to get involved? Well, we've got our website, newrytennisclub.co.uk. Newrytennisclub.co.uk. Yep. That's, I think it comes up once you type in New Tennis, it'll... You're there. It, you're yeah. there. And there's, and there's a new member's um, email address too, which should be on the website. And there is a warm, warm welcome for yes, you for there, down on the Warren Point Road. And for as long as you stay on the canal side and the river side of the wall, you will take longer and longer and longer to find yourself on the other side of the wall, which is St. Mary's Graveyard. Oh. Right. So the more <laughs> tennis you play, the healthier you will stay. Thanks we'll say so. farewell to the folk now. Thank, thank you very much indeed. Thank morning. you very much. Lovely. Good thank to have you. you. Thank you very much well, indeed, Kieran. Thank you, thank thank you, you very much, Tom. Thank you God indeed. bless you. And we wish you well at home. Go well. Take care. Be happy. Be productive. I'm back with you tomorrow morning. Uh, God willing, inshallah, I'll be here. 
and uh, hopefully you'll be joining me wherever you are viewing in the world. Tennis forever, I, th I think. Yeah, and I strawberries, mean. bring back the whites. I think they'll be all right. <laughs> Go on, take care. Right. All the best, guys. Take care. Anyone bye -bye. for tennis? Bye-bye. <laughs> Anyone for tennis? Yeah.